Maestro Chris right here was giving, he's gonna start making a kind of a, one of uh, Atilio's pizza. So we're just gonna watch him. See, he's gonna be cutting this cross, and then in between, so that'll be the indication of where you're gonna put the ricotta. I need to get more ricotta. Let's see if I can do it. You can make it. Okay. I think you can make it. Just so I can like somehow watch do it. So it's just a little bit of ricotta. You don't want to go crazy on it because it will spit out, and then. That could be problematic for your fernile. Alright, so he's gonna show you how to close it. I'll try this one first. Oh, that was actually perfect, the one you were doing before. <laughs> for the camera. So you see that he pinches on the dough of the base, that way. See that pinch right there? He pinched that right there. And then he gets to the point, so it's just kind of like pushing out, speaking out. Yes. It does take a little bit longer than a normal pizza, but quality takes time. Yeah. Okay. So, make sure it's free. Okay. In the bottom. Just making sure it's not going to get stuck. You just got more of cheese. This is about two ounces. Two ounces right there. So he knows already his portions. It's important. For the weekly meat and cheese. Okay. Three slices. Three. They told you to do three stripes, right? Yep. All right. Okay. The greens you're gonna use are just sausage, I believe. Ricotta. Yeah. Let's go more. Three ounces. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just spread out free really. It's pretty good. And finally, this is the way I do it. Put it on each one, so that every slice gets a little bit. Sounds perfect. Sounds about right, actually. Cool. Does it have oil or no? It's okay, we can handle it. And then we got our fornial picking it up. Ah, come on. <laughs> Alright, so he's gonna stretch it to the PO size. Wonderful. Yeah, you see him going in. Perfect. See, the shape is still there. You just follow us later on, you'll see how it comes out. I'll take a picture. Alright. 